Hello, Cherie Hansen here. First of all, as always, I have to express my gratitude for you watching these videos, for the people that are leaving me positive comments on them, for people who are marrying back to me that somehow something I've said has helped them through this time of turbulence and changes in energy. Um, I also am very appreciative if you subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. I would really, really be happy about that. Uh, why that is, is because the more people that subscribe, the more likely it is that something that I am teaching will go out into the world to help someone who needs to hear it. This hour, this day, this week, they're struggling. Um, it's kind of like the old <coughs> movies where you've got uh, an actor in an alligator suit in a pond attacking the hero. Uh, where we are right now is uh, we feel like a sharknado and alligators and big big pterodactyl sized mosquitoes are all attacking us. And that is because the ego is set to look for danger. We're already programmed to look for danger. So the feedback is very, very important when other people are seeing, yes, this is what we're going through. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not broken. <laughs> it's just what the energy is like right now. And um, <clears throat> I also would like to say that when I do my YouTube videos, I always do them after my Wim Hof breath. And what happens during that six rounds now of meditation is the lesson will drop down. It's not something I designed. It's not something I set out to talk about. I just allow it to come in. And what happened today was the understanding that I needed to transmit to you a lesson I got from one of my many counselors in my life. <clears throat> so much spiritual physical therapy is like, ow, 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 my, my brain hurts. Do I have to feel this? Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> and the message was the Sherlock Holmes, the Sherlock Holmes detective. What you imagine is you stand in front of your yard or your house and you stand there as if you're investigating some kind of mystery. <laughs> the mystery is called the mystery of you. <laughs> because we don't understand ourselves. We are lost to ourselves. We need to put a poster up for our, our true identity, for our true soul personality. And you say, lost, help me find. <laughs> we don't have, uh, <clears throat> we don't have, uh, milk containers any longer with the missing identity on it, but we're certainly in a place where we're really not getting who we are. So this helps. This has helped me a lot, this counselor taught me. Stop in front of your house and ask the question. As I look around, as I look at everything in this yard, the front of the house, the steps, the trees. What kind of person lives there? We don't do it to criticize ourselves. We're not in a place where we're going, oh my God, I see all the things I should do if I'm going to be perfect and just get swept up to heaven <laughs> without even having to die. I'm just, and there I am. Uh, no. The point of this is for you to understand that everything that you have done, everything that presents in your life is a clue. It's a clue to who you think you are. 
So for me, my front steps are a coral orange. Uh, when I was in a place of great struggle, I painted my steps pink because I wanted my steps to say, love is here. This is a place of soft love. And I, who did I do that for? Not for people walking past. Not for some assessor of if I'm doing a good job, an inspector, an inspector of my life. No, it was for me. It was to mirror back to me that I was ready to be gently loving other people. And then you open the door. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to go in? Okay. You open the door and you stand in the entryway. And you are Sherlock Holmes. You are an amazing investigator. And you look at things. And you say, what kind of person lives here? The thing that has happened for me as I've gotten more uh, peaceful with who I am, more calmed down, less reactive, less defensive, is when I step in the entryway, it becomes more and more calm. There isn't a bunch of junk everywhere. It feels open and inviting and tidy and clean because I have walk the walk. <laughs> I have wrestled with the alligators <laughs> and ducked when the sharks were flying by. And this is the place I've come to. And then you go into every room in your house and you can journal this. It's amazing if you do it. What does that room say about who you are? And for me, I've got very powerful art that I created on my walls. And this is my story. It's my art. Why is it my art? Because I'm owning my voice. I am owning my identity. I am projecting who I am, not hiding. <laughs> like, oh, here in this closet in the back of the room, that's where I live. Don't look at me. I don't want to... Or if somebody who, on the other hand, doesn't know who they are. And so what they do is they go to Home Sense or Winners or someplace like that and get that nice, that nice white camellia painting or a, a landscape of a tropical sunset because they don't know who they are. They're allowing somebody outside of them to tell them who they are. They're not living from their own soul outward. And when we're lost to ourselves, when we don't know how to express ourselves with authenticity, we are very vulnerable to suggestions from the outside world. You should wear this. You should like this. You should join this group. Oh, your living room has the perfect tropical sunset on the wall. You must, you must really be artistic. <laughs> so, no, I'm wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask in the way my rooms look. I'm wearing a mask in the kind of clothing I'm wearing. I'm wearing a mask in this you know, this battle you've already lost so that no one will know who I am. So go through your house. If you see chaos, if you see disorder, if you see, and I've, I'm guilty of this, oh my gosh, um, too much, too many things, too many things. Then what this says about the person is that they are in a state of confusion. They're in a state of uh, chaos. They're in a state of carrying their past, con um, their past wounding in with them now. Because as soon as you step into a Zen-like space, 
as soon as you step into a space that feels calm, it helps you calm down. So this isn't about being the perfect little house person. This isn't about, uh, you know, fitting in. What we're doing when we walk through our house and look at it and write about who would live here is we are using a methodology that can help us understand what our signature energy is right now. What is it? Does this feel calm and loving and clean and orderly? Or does this feel like somebody who's desperately trying to be seen as part of the herd? And that's up to you. And one of the things that we do that really slows us down, oh man, it's like trying to toe dance when you've got two bowling balls strapped to your ankles is using the past to tell us who we are. That's done. That died. That person is gone. That story is over. Where are we now? We are now. <laughs> We're now. <laughs> and what's going to happen next? We don't know. <laughs> We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know who we're going to be next. So to be in a place where we simply create the space around us that pleases us and that makes us feel happy and makes us feel calm shows us that we have arrived in the environment we want to live in. So that was my thought for today. It was about let's solve the mystery of who lives here. Let's solve the mystery of what this soul personality is like. Let's solve the mystery of now, right now. Thank you so much. I do, um, I'm really appreciating the number of clients I have right now. I have clients from India, from California, from Prague, uh, from the United States, um, and people from Canada. And I can tell you with absolute surety that I'm helping people. I'm really a good coach because I did so much wrong. <laughs> It's irritating when your coach is perfect, isn't it? Well, that won't happen if you've got me. So get a hold, ask me to do a psychic reading, ask me to look at your energy, to look at what the point of the greatest pain in your aura, in your body is, so that we can form a contract, you with you, you with you, you with you, and up your vibration so that you're happier in your physical manifestation, in your house, in your bedroom, in your body, in your spirit. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.